On today's episode of Undercover Boss, the president and CEO of Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf goes undercover for the second time. This former Johnny Rocket CEO is ordering up a double dose of Undercover Boss. And while undercover, he'll meet the people that keep his company brewing. Hey, Coffee Bean, we're giving you free drinks today! Alright, people! Free drinks! But what will happen when one employee thinks that she knows who he actually is? I think that I know Mick. Find out next on today's episode of Undercover Boss. Headquartered in LA, California, Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf is one of the largest coffee chains in the world with more than a thousand locations, 15,000 employees, and brings in $500 million a year in annual revenue. This company sells high quality hot and cold beverages across the globe, and brewing up this coffee chain's strong future is President and CEO John Fuller. I'm John Fuller, President and CEO of the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. John first appeared on Undercover Boss as president and CEO of Johnny Rockets, and he loved the experience, and he was able to empathize with the employees and see how difficult their job is, and that experience has made him a better leader, and because of that, he wants to have another go at it. The Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf started in 1963 by a guy named Herbert Heyman, and Herbert traveled the world and found out that the coffee bean quality in California was not the best, and this led him to seize the opportunity and he opened up a store in Brentwood in 1963, and the coffee chain now has 1100 stores in 30 countries. The Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf was the first of the platinum coffee and tea retailers, but since then there's been a ton of successful companies from Starbucks to Pete's, and what makes them different from their competitors is that they're not as corporate as they are, so they're still able to have the approachability of the neighborhood coffee store. The Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf is best known for Ice Blended, a drink that was created almost 30 years ago and has been copied by every other competitor since then. A lot has changed for John since the last time he was undercover, and now he is a married man leading another company. The first time John went undercover, he was recognized by multiple people. This is what I did before. You think you make it where no one will recognize me? Yeah. How long does this take? Around four hours. Oh my gosh. So this time, he's making a radical disguise. He'll be going undercover as Mick from Phoenix, Arizona, and his employees will be told that he's a contestant on a reality show, and they'll have no idea that it's Undercover Boss. Going undercover as Mick from Phoenix, Arizona. My employees will think they're on a different reality show. They will have no idea. For his first job, he travels to Downey, California to work with the shift supervisor. Today I'm in Downey, California, and I'm going to get a chance to work with the shift supervisor. And he meets up with Diana, and she shows him how to make a vanilla latte. This is a vanilla latte, so it has okay. one shot of espresso. Okay. This is small, vanilla powder, and mix. And she tells him that they only have three minutes to prepare the drink, so John will have to do it fast, but he was too slow and the line starts getting longer and longer. Diana then goes out and starts giving gift cards to the customers in convenience, and after he messes up a customer's order, she sends him back so he can count the inventory. After getting banished from the front, John tries to mark and count the inventory, but he sees that the system is still with paper and very old school. As a CEO, I've always tried to make things as simple as possible. The way we do our inventory though is far from simple, and I'm gonna look into that. While working together, he learns that she's been with the company for 15 years, and she also would like to grow within the company and go back to school, but she needs the money to take care of her children, and she also reveals that she has liver cancer, which made her unable to work for 9 months, putting her in more financial strain. For his next job, he travels to Henderson, Nevada to work with the general manager for special events. Hey, I'm here in Henderson, Nevada, right on the outskirts of Las Vegas, and I get to work with the general manager for special events. He meets up with Chris and he tells him how they market their brand to new people by driving a truck and going into community events. And after getting into the truck, he teaches him how to make iced coffee and they start advertising for free coffee. And the lines grow fast and they finish their coffee really, really fast. And Chris explains that they have a coffee shop down the street. And by giving free coffee now, they'll get new people who will become lifelong customers. John's impressed by Chris's enthusiasm and new ideas and plans to add more trucks in other states as well. Truck's a great idea. Again, being involved in the community, I, I think it's so important and what a great way to do it. So I really want to think about how to get more trucks in, in activation. The next day he travels to Riverside, California to work under the general manager. 
Today I'm here in uh, Riverside, California, and today I will be working with the general manager. And he meets up with Tatiana, who takes him to the drive-thru and teaches him how to interact with the customers. He then takes the next few calls and Tatiana stays with him and corrects him on the thing that he's missing. You gotta be full of energy because remember, whatever you're giving off, that's what they're picking up off of you. She then leaves him alone and while he was doing that, she starts watching him from behind suspiciously and something just clicks inside of her and she goes to one of her employees and tells her that he might be the CEO. To the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf Riverside Plaza. That's the real CEO of John sees this happening and even though he doesn't hear what she says, he figures by the way that she was talking that she might know who he is and he then talks to her in private and reveals his true identity. He then asks her for her ideas and she tells him how to treat the employees better so that they don't leave and shares the way she keeps all her employees happy. He then makes her promise not to reveal his identity and then finishes his shift with her. After getting caught for the second time, he travels to San Diego, California to finish off his last job and work as a team member. Today I'm going to be working with a team member in San Diego, California. He meets up with Jacob and he teaches him how to run the register and he then works on making tea and he learns that even though tea makes 50% of their sale, they don't have a lot of variations for the customers. Seems like that's a ton of choices still. In the world of tea, there is hundreds of thousands of types You're of tea. You're kidding. And he also learns that Jacob just moved to San Diego for a better life, but he's still struggling financially and sleeps on the floor of a guy's house because he can't afford a bed. John then tries to take care of customers, but the register system was complicated and he takes a long time to finish an order. And finally, John's undercover time comes to an end and he invites his employees to reveal his true identity. John Fuller, I'm our president and CEO of the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you're on undercover boss. First in was Diana, and he tells her that the inventory system was bad, and that he was gonna change it for good, and he gives her $20,000 for her medical bill, and also offers to pay for her school, and once she finishes, he promises her a gift of $10,000. And lastly, he gives her $40,000 for her children's college fund. Having my kids both get to go to college, it's a gift that I never thought I'd be able to give them. Thank you! Next in was Chris, and he tells him that he loved his enthusiasm and idea, and he offers to bring him to HQ and work on a task force that will expand the truck business, and he gives him six tickets for his family to a trip to a football game. And if you work hard, you do a great job, that good things happen. My future looks brighter in the coffee bean and tea leaf. After that was Tatiana, and he thanks her for being honest with him, and he tells her that she'll be relocated to a store closer to her house, and he gives her a brand new car. Just... I'm just thankful. John is my guardian angel and hero today. He saved the day. And last but not least was Jacob, and he tells him that he loved how passionate he was about his job, and offers to send him to an all-expense paid trip to Sri Lanka so he can see the tea farms and share new ideas. He then offers to be his mentor and offers him a full-time job and pay for an apartment for a whole year. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a bed. There's so much stress, it's gonna be taken off my shoulders. This, this is definitely going to change my life. And that wraps up today's episode of Undercover Boss. 